Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And we got the next Corridor of Awakening event, where you can awaken event-exclusive characters to level 120. Uh, if you're a player that's been playing for a while and you have a, a lot of the old free-to-play units. For newer players, this presents uh, a different kind of scenario. So first off, they made it easier, because normally there's not two normal stages. It normally goes beginner, normal, expert, and master. Uh, so they drop down the difficulty a little bit. They increase the amount of crystals we get on the first clear, and they took away the missions that you normally have to complete and do like six hands of greens and blues and oranges and certain characters and cer use certain skills. They took all those away. So now the only thing you need to do to get these crystals is clear the stage and then do the parallel processing missions, which there's you know up to 70 times, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, it, it's a lot. Especially when you're starting out and you have a bunch of things, other things to spend stamina on, like beatdown battle, or uh, the normal event, or magicules, or gold, or conquests. So I wouldn't really make this a super high priority for newer players. Uh, just because what you're getting out of it is not super great as far as um, progression is concerned. But what you can do with these purple crystals, normally, is you would go into this shop, the Corridor of Awakening Bazaar, and for old characters that are, you know, capped out at level 100, because they didn't used to be level 120s, uh, you can get the 25 dupes necessary to get someone to level 120. So all these other free-to-play characters I have, minus those protectors that came out, uh, they're all level 120s now. But, as a newer player, what you could do is you could maybe, I don't know, take on the story quest up to chapter 16 and clear each of them on beginner, and then you get the, you know, butt-ton of flashback crystals, right? And you could spend those. And you can get maybe your first initial dupe of one of the good free-to-play characters, like, uh, Water Rimuru Protector, Water Rimuru Battle Unit down here. Uh, or Isis. Isis is a very good pickup. Uh, where's Water Rimuru? Water Rimuru right here. And then you could buy his dupes, right? And they cost 4,000 flashback crystals. You could certainly do that. with, Or you could just buy the initial copy, buy his gear, buy all this stuff, and then spend the Corridor of Awakening crystals and buy dupes from here. Now, it's not going to get you to 120. It'll get you to... Uh, it'll get you to probably 100. But... It's probably easier to do that than, you know, spend all your flashback crystals. So, I mean, there are ways around it. So it's like, if you go buy base copy Reamer for 7,000 flashback, you do the 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 uh, Quarter of Awakening, you get so many of these. You could just buy some free dupes for him and spend your flashback crystals on other units. And you don't have to buy all the dupes of him. You could spread it out if you want. But that's an alternative method. Whether or not you want to do that is entirely up to you. Uh, this stage isn't difficult by any means. Uh, since they made it even easier, we're just going to go in with some random team that I made. Uh, I had a full meta team somewhere. Yeah, so Valentine, Water Shun is a good pickup. Rimuru, Blanc, Cleesh, uh, and Violet. Like, most of these characters you will probably have because they're the current meta. And you can just wipe the stage. And you only have to do it once. In order to get like the initial things, then you just go and parallel process it overnight. When you're doing, when you're done, you know, playing game during the day, or you're gonna go off and go hang out, and you don't want something to do, then you can just do this stage. It's very, very simple. You don't even need to optimize anything. Like I'm just gonna send these orbs, and we take chunks off. Now, yeah, my units are more leveled. Like you could argue that I'm taking no damage here, but it, it's all really the same. As long as you have a basic understanding of what you should be doing here it's not going to be difficult for you. So this six hand send is going to get him down to like a sliver of health, essentially, if not just straight up kill him. Okay, well, not if he guards. Half health then. But still, it's very easy to do. It's, what, 20 free crystals technically because you beat each stage once, right? And, you know, it's not a lot, but it's better than the amount of crystals you had five minutes ago, right? So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Sherzies, we'll get the synergy buff and then we'll probably kill. Probably being the keyword. I don't know why I did that order, but whatever. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Okay. So there we go. Uh, there's Corridor of Awakening stage. Master difficulty? No, ex extreme difficulty? Cleared? 
and three turns. Like, he didn't do damage to you. You got a two... Is that 2,000 flashback? Or is that 2,000 corridor crystals right there? I think it is. Okay, well, yeah. So there you go. Congratulations. You did all the stages. Now parallel process it another 66 times, and you can get enough, and you can go spend it on some free dupes of a character in here that you need. Honestly, I really recommend, like, if you have these characters, you don't have them 120 yet, and you're like, who should I start with? You should get Isis, you should get Water Rimuru, and you should probably get Geld as your starting characters to get pure dupes of to get to 120. There's no difference between 100 and 120 except for pure stats. And since they're old free-to-play units, their stat buff is not that high to begin with. So for older players, really doesn't matter. For newer players who need those extra stats to begin surviving some of the harder content, uh, it, it's probably a bit more useful to you. And Isis and Rimuru are pretty much gods of their respective teams. Isis on the green team, Rimuru on a blue team. We are currently on a blue-focused meta with the Visions of Coleus team, so Rimuru would be a very good pickup for a lot of new players who don't have a lot of orb-changing units. Like, Cleesh is changing greens, Violet's changing, you know, the triple convert. Rimuru uh, here is changing greens and his own orbs. So we, you can have a lot of orb change and you can get the team running and start cycling protectors and that'll, you know, that'll get your power up. Um, but I mean, otherwise, it's, it's pretty much a giveaway stage at this point. So what I recommend new players do, do your beginner missions, get the flashback crystals, get the initial dupe for Rimuru and Geld and Isis, buy their gear, buy their enhancements, and then spend the rest of your corridor crystals for now on getting the free dupes of them, because it's honestly a lot easier than grinding out a crap ton of flashback crystals. So you can spend the flashbacks across the board, because you're going to get a lot of them, but then getting the rest of them is difficult. Getting these are easy. So please do that. Make your life more simple than it has to be, and maybe just treat this as a practice stage, right? Uh, it's not difficult. You could take a bunch of different teams. If you're not sure what works and what doesn't work, this is a great stage to try it out on. You don't. It doesn't care what difficulty you parallel process, so you could go into the lowest stage and you will not die. And you could just try and figure out how the game works in a safe environment. I think that would be a good idea for most people to do. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think of, your, of the strategy of spending your flashback and corridor crystals if you are confused because it does sound a little confusing please let me know in the comments and i'll try and answer your questions as best as i can but honestly corridor awakening is just a giveaway it's not a good event uh, it doesn't really give us anything at this point and even though they did change up the shop to give us these four star and three star flames we don't use those either so that's it for me guys take it easy and i'll see you all later